is just before dawn in a secluded back lane in a suburb of Perth. And if we watch very carefully, we should see the first telltale sign of a mammal emerging from its burrow to greet the sun. And there he is in his full splendor. Notice his distinctive plumage and headdress. He is wearing his winter coat of a rider's jersey, bike pants, socks, and the cleated boot so common in his species. Casting our gaze upwards, we see the helmet that is typical of this species. This particular mammal is getting ready for his yearly migration to a small town in Western Australia called Mandurah, where each year hundreds of mammals descend for one night of convocation, culture and camaraderie. Join me in following his preparation as we spend a day with the mammals. Our mammal is riding to meet his flock to go through some safety drills prior to their mass migration. They must stay particularly vigilant of man-made perils such as these, these, and these. They know that their greatest enemy lies from within. In this case, that enemy is Gary. Gary is what the mammals call a rule breaker. It's something that the pack is cognizant of and is determined to address before they head south. Note the lead mammal, commonly known as the captain, giving Gary some pointers on appropriate migration behavior. There's no music during migration and no phone calls. Phones must be switched on to locate the flock, but talk is kept to a minimum. High fives are universally rejected. And it is a no to smoking. We are trying to cure cancer here, Gary. Eventually, even the likes of Gary fall into line. And that line is always single file on carriageways. Overtake only when safe and keeping to the left. Right, Gary? In the mammal world, a slight hand gesture can set off the pack. Watch as the safety inspector demonstrates to the pack. Notice him sticking his arm out. That's a right turn. And there's the left. And there's the thumbs up to alert the support crew that he is in no distress. And yes, there is the distress sign. The thumb is down, the arm extended. This means warning in the mammal world. It alerts others that he needs assistance. And if we wait, we might just see the rare but necessary object on the road sign. This one is quickly disseminated through the pack. And there it is, magnificent. Later in the day, we stumble across the flock at rest by the side of the road. This man-made watering hole is designed to allow the mammal to hydrate, to refuel and refresh. Stretching is also important. Thanks, Gary. The mammal must be prepared for all kinds of weather. No matter what the conditions, they're programmed to make it down to Mandra by sundown. Better to be prepared and practiced. It's the end of a fruitful day for the mammal. Soon this flock will be ready for their annual migration. They will suit up in their matching plumage, clip on, don their protective headdress, and head out 
into the great beyond, safe in the knowledge that they are ready to join their fellow mammals to help beat cancer as part of the Maka Cancer 200. And they will do it together. No member of the flock is ever left behind. Even Gary. <laughs>